spoke to Mr Copeland earlier and he agrees there's no reason I can't date him. Sorry? The whole Protestant and Catholic thing doesn't really matter anymore, so there's nothing really standing between me and Jeff. Hang on, did Jeff ask you out? Well, no, but we've been chatting lately and I mean, we've got a lot in common. Well, we both go to church, that's a good start, hey? Well, that's what I've been saying for ages. Good, because I really, really like him and and it's not just because he's good looking, but he is, don't you think? He's hot. Ew. No, gross. No. Oh. Hi, Jeff. Hey, sorry, I can't talk. I've got to get help, Mr. Copeland. Okay, well, see you at the concert. <sighs> Mr. Copeland. Jeffrey, you heading down to the hall? Yeah, but I was wondering if I could just ask you something first. Hit me. Okay, um. What happens when everyone tells you a girl likes you and it's kind of obvious that she does, but you don't like her in that way? But you don't want to hurt her feelings, but you still want to be her friend? Mm hmm, mm hmm. I don't know, Jeffrey. I think maybe it's, you know, the old saying, honesty is the best policy. I just tell her how you're feeling. If you're feeling that she should just be your friend and nothing more, then I think she deserves to hear that. And that really works? You'd hope so, wouldn't you? So it's that easy? No, no, it, it shouldn't be that easy. You're dealing with people, Jeffrey. But you should do it. Okay, great. Thanks, Mr. Copeland. No problem, mate. Good luck. Uh, <clears throat> I suppose I should really make a start on taking these down. Mm. Just makes it feel so final. Forget in love, this isn't the end, it's a new beginning. These photos, yeah, sure, they're precious, but at the end of the day, they're all just scraps of paper. It's the memories. They're what really count. Yeah, I know. Thank you. How about we tackle them together? Then we can start getting ready for this shindig of yours. <laughs> Hey, what do you reckon? I'm no interior decorator, but it looks all right, eh? I reckon, as a decorator, you make a great chef. <laughs> it looks great, it looks great. Sal's gonna love it. Uh, speaking of Sal, she's gonna fly up with Pippa and uh, Maddie and Cass are gonna drive. Oh, good for them. Hey, listen, you haven't seen Aidan Jeffries on the travels, have you? Uh, no, why? It's just I walked in on him and his dad having a massive boot last night. <sighs> that doesn't surprise me. Is that right? Yeah, I've seen his dad snap it before and it's not pretty. Or well, you think it's a regular thing? Yeah, maybe. I don't know, there's something definitely going on with that family. I, I should have handled it better. He just, Aiden took off. Now his dad doesn't know where he is and I don't know either, he's disappeared. Well, mate, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I mean, I went through a similar situation with my dad and I just wanted to get as far away from it all as I could. He's, he's probably nowhere near Summer Bay right now. It's not your fault. speech doesn't go on and on and on. Yeah, and that's if we get that far. Even Mr Tonkin's making a speech. Oh, it won't be that bad. Even if it is, we've got the party at the pier to look forward to. If we don't die of boredom first. <laughs> We're going to take the shortcut back to the school. Yes, we'll see you there. Oh, us oldies too slow for you. No, no, we just want to talk more about our road trip. Oh, uh, don't worry, I'll let you girls have a head start. Then I'll find some way of holding her up. Okay. Hey, hold your horses. I'm not as fast as I used to be. <laughs> oh. I said two words since we left the house. I felt funny ever since we left home. Something's not right. Someone's in trouble. The troublemaker's in trouble. He's in there. Who? The troublemaker. He's in here. Uh, there's no one in there. This place is a disaster area. You can't go in. Uh, oh, what's gone into her head now? I don't know. Let's just give it a benefit of the doubt. He's in here. Sure, but we've got to hurry. He hasn't got much time left. Uh, 
Is anyone here? Oh my god. It's Aiden. Are we too late? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Aiden. Aiden, can you hear me? Summer Bay when I was a, an eight-year-old girl and the only thing I knew about it was that there was a beach and a, a caravan park. Um, I didn't know that I would spend the next 20 years of my life here. Wherever you go. This week television history will be made but if you think Sally leaving is big wait till you see what washes up the morning after on Home and Away. Don't miss your last chance to say goodbye to Sally. For exclusive videos, picture galleries and message boards, search for Home and Away only at Yahoo 7. Yahoo!